Let's see it, dude. Hold it up. All right, so what is this, guys? This is an 8.88 black label curb vulture. It says vulture curb, but that just doesn't sound as good to me. So that's his Christmas setup. So let's, all right, Killy, let's hit it. I'm I found this new mode on my cell phone, guys. It's a Note 20 Ultra. It's kind of old, but it's kind of like, what the heck? Let's see how this looks. Jim, yeah. so what's up? Hey, how you doing, Roman? Hey guys, this is Jim. He met me on the channel and said, let's meet up. Fist bump right there. Uh, so when did you start skating? Uh, four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah. And how old are you? 38. 38, so yeah. what is that, 34? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my... I was never a young skater. <laughs> never a young skater. Yeah. Let's check out what he's riding, guys. Look at this. Okay, so this is a nine inch board I had uh, my surf skate trucks on a surf skate deck, but I wanted a nose on there, so I uh, did my own custom design on here and here, and I didn't want that to go to waste. So, oh, cool. Uh, when I got my new Andy Anderson board, I decided to move my surf skate trucks onto this. Cool. So let's go look at that other board. Okay. So history in skateboarding is four years. That's it. No, uh, no young kid skateboarding. So that's kind of cool. Somebody just went for it. Yeah, so this is my Andy Anderson board. Got some Thunder trucks on there. I uh, did my own grip tape grip design tape. on there. Yep. Uh, one thing I really like from this board is I have a really tough time with drop-ins. So I put this big star on there. So that's where my foot goes. That's where my weight goes. And just having that there for Perfect. me is like a really nice thing for me to just remember. The star marks the spot. Board. Yeah, you yeah. got it on both boards. Yep. And that's some interesting grip tape. It almost feels padded. Yeah, it's just regular blue $9 grip tape. Huh, okay. Uh, I want to show you the guys the, bearing, uh, the bushings. Uh, guys, I want to show you. Uh, so take a look right here. You see this bushing? Look at how cracked and rotted out that is. This is the bravest skater for an older dude ever because I was telling him, you know, most of us are worried about wheel bite. We're definitely terrified of like, shitty gear or the wrong gear or the wrong rubber or the wrong uh yeah. urethane compound but he is not worried well uh i set my trucks just as loose as they can go without getting wheel bite i'll put a little bit of wax right here just in case uh but you can look at my board there is no marks from wheel bite anywhere yeah. on there and i just keep it just as loose <laughs> as we can go well you're definitely due for some new bushings i'd say uh yeah. but look, look um i'll testify let me get this selfie camera on me. I'll testify that that is a very loose truck. I rode his surf skate down here. That is also very loose. So he's learned to ride very loose. And and he's not lying when I tell you that those 54 millimeters don't wheel bite. I put my 236 pound body on there and I couldn't get it to wheel bite. Yeah, like even if it does wheel bite a little, the wax on there keeps it from stopping. Yeah. And those are soft wheels, and usually that's my kind of fear with soft wheels is that they're going to pinch the board and grip even tighter in a wheel bite scenario. So most dudes are worried about that, but that's yeah. cool that you're not. Um, yeah. Is it an age thing? Uh, probably has a little to do with it. You know, a guy starting out at 30 or at 55 is going to be a little more cautious of that shoulder slam than you are. Yeah. But anyway, so we're going to skate with him today, and uh, we'll see what we get. Maybe we'll get something cool on camera. Maybe we won't. Killian is going to try his. Did you just did one run, huh? I got you on one run. I think I did with this camera too. Um, but yeah, so you've decided that those bushings are a little hard. So he's riding the uh, the Goldwing Pro 3. And guys, I wish you stocked up on those. If you had, they're worth $200 now. Uh, I didn't, but he's going to use this truck. So officially, no one grinded a groove in there, but... You know, his dad's going to think that's a benefit for him. But the bushings are stock bushings with a reverse, uh, with a uh, grind king, inverted kingpin on there. And um, I think we're going to have to put in a looser bushing. He's not comfortable, so he's going to go back to that board right there. Oh, he's got one right here that he loves. So we'll go. 
Probably. All right, you want to try his board? <laughs> so this is on Jim's board here. That is loose for you. So there you go. This is the guy that started out. This is the kid that started out with the, the softest bushings made. And uh, that was even too loose for him. So uh, some people say loose trucks save lives. I don't agree with that, but you like it. Well, you know what? All the pros say that. So I'm not saying I'm right. All right, guys. So what I'm doing right here is I'm looking at a flying selfie camera. It flies, it follows you, it follows in front of you, and it runs several different modes. I had to make eye contact with this, like, it's like a drone, it looks like a drone. And it's gonna follow me around the skate park right here. Um, this is the very first time we're trying to fly it. It speeds up as I go faster, it tries to keep up with me, and it flies, you can see, right there about eye height. Just missing some trees there. Killian tried running this after me, which I'm not going to include those clips, but he ran it into two trees because he whipped the corners a little too fast. So um, we're going to use this when we ride wheelies. That guy had to duck underneath the drone a little bit. Um, but we're going to use this on our bikes. We're probably going to use this down below the uh, park area there, um, going back and forth across the park. And and maybe just try to add some cool B-roll shots to some videos. But this is what we got for now. We're trying to figure it out. After I drop in here, the thing speeds up and goes across the ground. But then it it stops. It loses me as I, as I start to launch out. So anyway, here we go. Take care. Later.